welcome back to Cross Tag Battle as we continue our journey into episode Blaze Blue. In this eighth episode of the series, we're going into chapter seven. And last chapter, we kind of just got some more information, including a shocking twist with the fact that while it was kind of guessable that there's multiple crystals, the fact that we found our first crystal besides our own with Tide was interesting. And considering the fact that Linne and Wallstein were already separated, we can assume that they probably found it around then. So we're talking back in chapter four. Before chapter four, some in between chapter one when we first fought them and chapter four when we found Waltine again, they must have found Hyde and they found out that he had a crystal. Or that he had a fragment. Which by itself is interesting and opened up some new possibilities as to what exactly is happening. Including the fact that they reconfirmed the fact that this is a closed world like Hawkman said. But this world is still unstable. Like the observer, like the AI originally said at the beginning, only 95%. And what exactly that means and to what extent that will be important to the story, we don't know. I mean, in fact, we're still going through this episode. It's already been going on for quite a while, like over two hours of just speaking alone. And we don't know what's going to end. We don't know how it's going to end. And we don't know what will happen when it ends. However, we won't be able to find out unless we play. So, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the gameplay. Huh? Who are you supposed to be? You are Ravna the Blood Edge, aren't you? That's never a good question. Then it's true. You are the man who holds the keystone and responsible for the slaughter of countless innocents. <sighs> Don't try to deny it. It's all written down <laughs> on this wanted poster. Oh gosh, that is a horrible picture. What? Wait, that's... Aw, oh, seriously? That stupid poster followed me to this world too? Man, look at that DMC looking poster. The keystone you possess will decide the fates of the many people trapped in this world. I cannot leave it in the hands of someone as despicable as you. Please give it to me. If you hand it over peacefully, I can guarantee your safety. If not, well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. You think you can guarantee his safety? Please. You won't be able to guarantee your own in a second. This again? Give me a break. I'm sorry, but I can't just hand this thing over to some random stranger on the street. I see. That's too bad. Huh? Damn it, the keystone! I'm sorry. I just barely missed. There's ways. Wait, does she also have a keystone? So, so Yang must have the keystone. Though. So here we get a classic combo from the early days of Blaze Blue with Weiss and Ori. Actually, I can't even say early days because they were like towards the end of the early days, going into like the mid days when a few players picked up this combo and show people just how frightening it could be. Nothing to worry about, as long as the keystone is out of his hands. <laughs> Had a friend with you, huh? I wouldn't necessarily say friends. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, we can't confirm it here. Ruby has the red signifier. We're comrades for now, united so by a shared goal. So Ruby is red. Blaze blue is blue. Oh, uh, under nights is purple, and persona is yellow. A shared goal? 
What, more than just getting the hell out of here? Well, getting back home is part of it, of course. While we both wish to return to our respective worlds, we're not the only ones trapped here. I believe that we need to find a way to free everyone from this world. Hopefully she's speaking some sense. Besides, that voice is awfully suspicious. Yes, twice. Look at you and your heritage giving you some intelligence. I really don't understand why it would put us through this whole tournament. Entertainment, I guess. I can't shake the feeling there's something going on behind the scenes. Yep, and we'll hopefully find out more about it after we beat you. It's definitely up to something. I agree. But in that case, doesn't it make even less sense for us all to be fighting amongst ourselves? Hey, wait. I'm sure they have a horrible reason to explain it. Oh, I'd say that's another matter entirely. Well, I can't vouch for the credibility of the wanted poster. Leaving the keystone to such an evil looking man is too great a risk. Oh, uh, man. That's... You're really judging me by the way I look? I'll keep him occupied. You grab the keystone. By keystone, do you mean this? Wait. Is that. Uh. What's his name? The end guy. Yep. It's like a nominal. You. Asthma. I was completely off. Oh, now don't give me that look. I come in peace. This time. There I was, all lonely and alone. And who do I overhear but an old pal from my world? What poor timing. To believe a friend of his would simply turn up like this. We are not friends. Stop screwing around. No need to be shy. Come on, tell them how close we are. There's not a single speck of friendship between us, you son of a bitch! Aw, look at that. We hate each other so much. More importantly, Raggy, that was quite a tongue lashing you were getting back there. Despicable, evil looking sister complex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, it's a sister. You made that last one up. And you, young lady, said earlier that you were going to free everyone from this world. Is that right? That's right. Do you have a problem with that? Not at all. In fact, I think it's a wonderful idea. Saving people you don't even know. Well, I could never see myself doing that. Ever. So tell me, do you have a plan of some sort? Well, um, we'll collect the keystone and... Hmm? What was that? Don't tell me you were trying to wrench the keystone from someone else's hands, insulting them all the while, without a plan of your own. Oh. Cosmo over here fighting fire with an entire inferno. <gasps> what are you... Now, Raggy, <laughs> after all this, how could I not partner up with my old buddy from back home? The hell are you up to? I told you earlier, didn't I? I'm tied up in all of this, too. And, like you, I'm hoping to solve the mysteries of the Keystone and get out of this world. Now, contrary to all appearances, I am a busy man. So, in return for my help, let's see. Why don't you tell me everything you know? <sighs> Fine. I don't trust you. I don't trust you. Oh dear, how cold. What'd you think I was gonna say? That's a real shame. But you really intend on fighting these girls all on your lonesome? Are you done talking yet? 
<laughs> Look at Weiss and Ori respecting the anime rule of letting your opponent talk. Oh, don't worry. Raggy and I are ready to entertain you. Hold on. I never said we were going to be partners. The tag battle train is leaving the station. Ish. You again? This time, we've got two pure and lovely maidens versus two sketchy men who reek of dark back alley. <laughs> I refuse to leave the keystone in the hands of miscreants like you. Golly. Oh, I wouldn't dare harm anyone who believes they fight on the side of justice. Oh, it's sarcasm. You might seem harmless on the surface, but I know what you really are. You can't disguise yourself from me. Oh. Hey, Raggy. These girls really aren't playing around. Oh, and just a reminder, I'm a lover, not a fighter. Keep that in mind if you're thinking about tagging me in. <laughs> Wait. Shut up, damn it. Being teamed up with you is already hell. Oh, wait. That's right. Is it? Let's see those fists of flying. Ready? Fight! I'm trying to think. Do you, want a, is, do you have a special gimmick with females where you like, can't fight them? If Get so, this ready. is going to be good. Fun. Get ready. Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight! Okay. Oh! I didn't expect that. Pardon me. Okay, there it is. Okay, there you go. Now it's not you. Nope. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, third down. No? What? Oh, that's not good at all. How can you do there we go. Resin is finished. It's all his damage total too. As the dust settles, Ravna and Hazama stand victorious. They're so strong. No wonder they've managed to endure so many battles so far. I mean, this is like the first time they're fighting this game, but sure. Wow. Who would have thought I'd ever get to fight with you, Ragnar? Fate really does love to play little tricks on us, doesn't it? Damn it. If it weren't for these stupid rules, I'd kill you right here and now. Uh, I will not leave the keystone to such brutes. Still saying that, huh? Look, I've had it up to here with the voice's rules. If you settle down, I'll explain everything. Ooh, I'm afraid that's not enough. We're out of time. This what? is a supervised closed world. The rules are everything. Am I right? Right as rain? And here's a rule for you. The losers must exit the stage. Right as... What... What does that mean? Ah! Ooh. What? What is? Man, Weiss looks weird. Negative. Ori. Uh, actually, I can see her. She has us dancing in the palm of her hand. Did you say something? Nothing. Now give me my damn keystone back. Sheesh. 
No need to be so aggressive. Look, if I hold on to this keystone, it'll get you out of this world too. So hurry up and get lost. Yes, yes. But do be careful. Hmm? Oh? The atmosphere here feels different somehow. The goal must be ahead. All right, well, this is interesting. We went through all this stuff so far, and it appears that we are now at what this time actually seems like it might be the final chapter. But of course, since we crossed over into a new chapter, we must do as we always do, and we're going to end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it because that was a, uh, I mean, that chapter wasn't as interesting as others to me. I mean, it was nice how they're just playing around and that horrendous picture came up. But besides that, it was fairly standard. Nice little fight at the end. But hope you guys enjoyed if you did, I love you. Tell me what you enjoyed, what you didn't enjoy, etc. And watch the next video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all again next time.